You may have noticed this week that your gas prices have gone up. I want to talk to you a little bit about why. A lot of it has to do with Vladimir Putin. Please, I can't answer all your questions at once. Oh, shine up the pump, shine up the pump, shine, 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 shine. The reality is that Russia is one of the three largest oil producers in the world. And the fact that they have started this conflict, invaded a foreign country, and they are such a big producer of oil in the world, is the reason why the global oil markets are disturbed right now and why your gas prices are going up. Ooh, look at that, I can see my face in that. <laughs> well, quite a bang in there. <laughs> what a, what'll it be, sir? Yeah, well, fill her up with gas, and I hope it doesn't take a long time, because I'm in a hurry. The president's going to do everything he can to bring down the price of gas for the American people. But there are a few facts you should be aware of. U.S. production of oil and gas is rising. In fact, in the first year of the Biden presidency, there was more oil and gas produced in the United States than in the first year of the Trump presidency. Your father left this for you. And you alone. and there's opportunities to produce more from here. But part of this is on the oil companies. Right now, there are 9,000 approved unused permits that oil and gas companies could tap into now to ramp up production. Well, if you could fill his car in such a short time, how come it's taking you such a long time to fill up my car? Oh, well, I'll tell you about that. Is it, oh, another customer, excuse me. <laughs> no rest for the weary, har, har, har. <laughs> yes, sir. So what the president is doing is ensuring we're taking steps here to get more oil out into the global marketplace. That includes the release of 40 million barrels from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve back in the fall, and he just announced their planned release of an additional 30 million barrels. But where are you going to a fire? Har, har, har. The only way to protect the United States over the long term is to become energy independent. <laughs> You, you mean you just filled another car with gas? That's right, that's right. But that's impossible. That's why the president has been so focused on investing in clean energy technologies, so that we can rely on that and not President Putin to set the price of gas. If you can fill a car with gas in such a short time, how come it's taking such a long time to fill up my car? Well, sir, I'll tell you, see. Three, oh, another customer, excuse me. When a range of pours, har, har, har. Well, 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 well. Hello there. Aldi, how are you today? Would you fill it up with high cash, please? Okay, get the old eye dropper out here. Just put it on my bill, please. I'm in a hurry. Okay, they're all filled up. Don't take any wooden nickels now, har, har, har.
Oh, there's a customer. Be right back. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, fill it up? Uh, of course. Okay, there you go. All filled up. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> Hey, well, you mean you just filled up that car with gas? Your father left this for you. And you alone. The truth must stay buried.